to get us answers. And, you know, I don't, I don't believe what we're being told um, for the most part because so many of us are getting sick and it feels wrong. Um, I, I am glad to see everybody that came out tonight. Um, and if we just want to go like table to table. If anyone has any questions for anybody up here, or um, if you just want to express your long-term and short-term concerns. And if you don't want to say anything, go ahead and pass to the next table. Trent, who gave authorization for them to be able to use the park? I do not know. It wasn't. It wasn't myself. Uh, it was a. It was a situation that was ongoing, and I think they just sort of did it themselves. And as soon as we found out about it, they weren't up there that long, and we tried to get them the hell out of there. Well, it wasn't necessarily strong arm. I just think that everybody that yes. everybody that wouldn't make that decision was busy and didn't make command, and it sort of just they came in, and then we were like, hold up here. So um, I do say I do want to say it was just socks, and they have done all those testing uh, so far. The preliminary test, everything looks good. They did all the soil samples all around the edge. They're going to dig up. They're going to put uh, saw it down where all the work was uh, tore up and stuff like that. Where can we see the results? Yes, they, they, everything will be made public on the EPA's website. Um, there was joint testing with the, was it you guys or was it? I don't know. So, uh, yeah, so our can answer that. Yeah, 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 so our, our CADIS did the testing with our oversight, but we also collected split samples, uh, just to make sure that the data was quality. Um, <laughs> uh, samples were collected at various locations around the park. Um, I've uh, seen all the preliminary data and everything below, even residential screening levels, meaning you know, individual yards, um, or, you know, 24, 7. Can we make our for dioxin? Yes, dioxin, yes, dioxin, that's important, thank you, thank you. We do. And we're waiting for two more, two of the samples, we have the preliminaries, but they haven't been quality checked yet, and um, I'm actually hoping to get them in today. I want to make sure the city has them in their hands um, you know, before we get them. Uh, just in the you know, feedback on that, the event permit's still on sign. They advertise, but the permit's not going to be signed. So like, I want to ease all that. I know there was some stuff on social media. I have sort of just taken myself off social media because it's just, I, I just can't do that. Um, permit's still on sign. It's sitting on uh, Tracy's desk, and she's agreed with me. We won't sign it until we get all the results. We're also working with the company because we're not scientists, we're a mayor and a village manager. So we're working with the company that was announced last night. Uh, it was emergency legislation that we, uh, I forget the name of the company, I'm sorry, I apologize, I forget it for you. Um, and they're going to they're gonna go over all the data because, you know, we don't we're just look at numbers on a page. We just have to trust what people are telling us. So we're going to have, you know, the EPA is going to tell us one thing, we're hiring our own independent con. Uh, consultants to tell us the, you know, what the results are. So. I heard that was also a concern with people that have their own private property. Um, we did notice with gay agents using their property in a manner that they weren't okay with, so that's kind of the same thing. Um, is there anyone that we should contact with that passions again that you know of? Sure. So uh, let, let, let me explain. <coughs> that. I, I, I think I know what you're talking about, so if I'm wrong, please correct me. Uh, with the, the, the soil sampling program that we're uh, currently doing, uh, if you see uh, the teams collecting samples right next to the road in the city's right of way, uh, we're doing that. Uh, we, uh, that's actually city property in the first couple of feet. So uh, we're doing that so we can get rapid samples collected from those locations. Um, we cannot go into the yard to collect samples. So you know, we can do it right next to the, the street, but we can't go 10 feet into the yard. So if that's what you were No, there was to. an issue with someone that had run off water for a creek that was on the property. There was two other people. Uh, one had an contaminated and things being pulled out of the water and put onto their property. Instead oh, of taking it the oh, other oh, direction. Oh, 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 so oh, now yeah. there is further contaminant from the water that had to Well, that's a problem. So I just so, wasn't yeah. sure, and I've heard that more than once. So I think that's cool. And yeah. for what he's saying, it does make sense that it could possibly be done. And I, 
something else. You said about the soil samples. Are you absolutely testing for every byproduct, chemical, there's more than, uh, there's a lot that needs to be tested that has not been tested. So we need every possible one that was on that train that could have been produced and we're, as citizens, we're not going to accept nothing less than that from city, EPA, railroad, all complete testing of all of that. So in, in the plan, I, I'll explain what we're testing for. Uh, and in the plan, you can see the whole list of chemicals. It's a whole okay. page full of chemicals that we have that list in the plan. Right. Uh, that's the, you find on our website. Um, sure, Linda, if you want to turn this. She's researched it more than I have. <laughs> uh, <laughs>
or, or, or is food going to be empty? How, how can that be? So that, that's my question. How does that happen? Yeah, so, so let me make sure, because I want to make sure I have my notes right. So I can pass along. I said I, on the medical side, I'm, I'm right. I don't, I don't know project. a lot, right? Because that's not what I do. But um, you said benzene and vinyl chloride, right? Yeah, benzene. I do live in the hot club. I, I, I'm right there. But yes, I right. remember. And your vinyl chloride. So I, I just want to make sure I have I don't know if they even tested my urine for benzene. They have had, you know, different testing. I was told that my urine for analysis was just Okay. Like I said, I, I can pass that on in terms of exposures. Uh, your question, your, your guess is as good as mine because you know, we, we have real time mobile laboratories uh, in a little more equipment uh, driving around town all day. You guys around town, but not on, not 2.9 miles out. No, I understand. I understand. Yeah. I so know. that little yeah. that went over, and I'm, I'm nearby less than run. Really? Supposedly, yeah. there's no amount of chloride in that. That's the So I, I just don't even understand that, you know, the, how I would not be exposed to it. That was the least of my worries. But I was like, oh, I don't even think that that's going to be necessary. And I think that's kind of the elephant in the room um, is that people are sick. And we keep being told that everything's okay. Well, you're not hearing it here. Right. And to speak, you know, what you said about people um, just hearing these symptoms and getting them. You know, I've met with people that have 10-month-old babies. I've met with people that have autistic children that don't have the wherewithal of what's going on in the community um, that's sick. And as far as the testing, we need some kind of guidance as to, you know, what we get tested for, who can do the test. And I know that that's, you know, you're outside of that medical realm, but if you could point us in the direction of someone that can get us that information. I think April 10th, the new clinic opens and it's being taken over by East Liverpool City Hospital. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm all lost. I'm all lost. Just be straight to the
or what they are is a carbon filler. They're calling it a polisher. So it'll just clean up the water even more. It'll be a better tasting water. It'll be, you know, but there is nothing wrong with the water. Everything that we've seen, the water flows south from that area, like the, the aquifer flows. But we want to be, we're, we're being proactive. So we put in these, they're charcoal water filters. Um, and they, you know, like I said, they polish the water, they really clean the water. It's, it's a proactive thing. So if, you know, you get a bad result now, then, oh, shit, what are you going to do? So, do you test before that? Yes. After? We test raw water, and we test after we clean it. So then when these get put in, it'll be raw water in the line, and then after, after it goes through this. Um, and before, and, you know, the EPA, Ohio EPA, we only had to test every three years was the only time we ever tested. That's the only time we ever tested for volatile organic. Now, when we do big repairs or big stuff like that, we would test and we wouldn't wait for three years. But now we're testing every week. So literally, you're getting 150 times more testing. Actually, 156 times more testing than you would before all this happened. So it's, it's a positive thing. And we still test daily as far as quality. We don't do like VOCs. Every day they test water to make sure. Yeah, bacteria and stuff like that. Yeah. And the, the Ambulant Mayor said, um, you know, you had mentioned POCs earlier, um, benzene in there. So that's where I have concerns. Uh, I have concerns about, you know, how much material uh, will remain in the ground uh, in the longer term. Right? So the, 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 the removal plan is to take everything out into those tracks. We know that some contamination is spread laterally. Um, so we're going to have the, the railroad under our own have to chase the waste um, and, and get as much as we can out. But there's no way to achieve 100% you know, cleanup. If I told you that, I'd be lying. How deep are they going? So, so, um, so my concern uh, is will always be uh, long-term making sure there's proper groundwater monitoring in place. Even though the water table doesn't look like it's flowing, as Mayor said, flowing towards the municipal wells, there has to be monitoring. So the state's already installed a couple extra monitoring wells, and uh, they will uh, they will install more once all the remediation. To piggyback off that question, yeah. um, can you explain to everybody because it's a big concern with the point one being tested in your home and these chemicals being well below point one. So you want to you explain it to me? Can, yeah, you know, this is a big question. Happy to. I just want to. I just want to finish uh, my, my point earlier. Um, that's where you know, the VOCs, when they're in the air, they're evaporating. Right? They're breaking down quick. When they're in, in, in the ground, they don't. And so that has to be part of the, uh, the, the monitoring program. Let me finish your question. Yep. Yes, we have, we have consulted outside council. <laughs> with us, giving that us recommendations and stuff like that. But yes, I, hopefully we get everything we need and we never have to sue. Mm -hmm. That's probably a budget. Outside environmental My concern is the um, charcoal fire. We obviously went, when you had the open house, which was very nice, we know how close that aqua fire is. Yeah. Now, with that flood that Governor DeWine said was planned, which we know that was not, <laughs> <laughs> what, we understand that was surface water, but our aqua fire is right there. That's going to sink in, correct? to sink into our water supply. I mean, it was that whole, we saw what, how much was flooded. There is a minute possibility it could. Okay. Minute. And like I said, everything we have in place now, we're all right. And then mm -hmm. anything we're going to put in place, will be fine before we ever understand. And then what I understand is the separation, it's all mm -hmm. lemony soil, it's not clay. So aren't we kind of um, really playing that game here? A little too close for comfort with the sulfur run and the end of our office. Every expert we've talked to said they think the world will be fine. Okay. It's the people that have the wells downstream. Okay. Yeah, right. And so. just to be clear, this is the drinking water. Yeah, this yes. is the yes. municipal. Yeah. Right, I think sometimes people get confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm sorry. Drinking water, water. I don't know. Drinking water. Well, aquifer ends right down there. There was a big part. split, and I always tried when I talked to explain it after a while, but there was a big split of a we said our water is not contaminated. Our drinking water has been fine. I've drank it the whole time. And anybody that said they were like getting problems from that water, that was the same water you had on the second and you had all the way through. 
people with wells, they, that would be very concerning. Yes. My parents, my parents live in Negley. I was raised in Negley, so you know, on well water, and you know, the well, the water hasn't been down there. You know, it wasn't very good to begin with. And now not, it it's is. not deep. Yeah, it's not deep at all. It's all sand and gravel, and you know, so yes, that is that is a big concern. Why did it even help you, Negley people? Thank it's been you. Been a month since all this is going on, and they're not getting the help. Board with SDP Norfolk. They say they match us. 
Well, why are they suing? That's why. Well, I, I, yeah, I mean, I was telling you about one very specific <laughs> soil. 